Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of foldable phones with a deep dive into the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. If you're a fan of foldables or just curious about how tough these devices really are, you're in the right place. Last week, we saw the Galaxy Z Flip 6 absolutely crush Jerry Everything's portrait test. But today, the focus is on its bigger brother, the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Let's get into it. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 has been put through the ringer by the one and only Zach Nelson from Jerry Reach Everything. Let's start with the basics. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is built with an enhanced armor aluminum frame, which is a step up from its predecessor. This frame held up surprisingly well against Zach's box cutter, showing that Samsung has made some serious improvements in durability. Now let's talk about the star of the show, the inner foldable screen. While it's definitely improved over the years, it's still not made of pure glass. Samsung uses a combination of ultra-thin glass and plastic, which they call ultra-thin glass or UTG. This makes it more susceptible to scratches even from your fingernails if you're not careful. One of the most shocking moments in the test was when the inner screen completely stopped working after just 25 seconds of exposure to a cigarette lighter flame. This is a clear reminder that while the Z Fold 6 is tough, it's not invincible. Next up, the sand test. Zach poured a whole bunch of sand on the inner screen and the hinge. Remember, Samsung claims an IP48 rating for this phone, which means it's resistant to some dust and water, but it's definitely not waterproof or dustproof. As expected, sand got into the hinge and it started making those annoying grinding noises. It's clear that Samsung still has some work to do in this area. We really hope they'll introduce an IP68 rating for their foldable phones soon, just like their regular flagship models. One thing that's really impressive is the phone's strength and flexibility. Zach tried to bend it backward, and it held up without any cracks or breaks. This is crucial for a foldable phone that's going to be opened and closed countless times. Now let's get into the juicy stuff, the teardown. This is where things got a little interesting. While trying to remove the inner screen with a box cutter, Zach noticed something alarming, smoke. It was a brief moment, but it definitely gave us flashbacks to the Galaxy Note 7. Don't worry, it wasn't a battery issue. The smoke came from the display's ribbon cable being damaged by the box cutter. Surprisingly, the phone kept working even after the inner screen was completely removed. Zach then revealed some interesting components. There are S-Pen digitizers for the inner screen, a wireless charging coil, and of course, the batteries, which have convenient pull tabs for easy replacement. Underneath all that, we found the motherboard and the three camera sensors. Speaking of cameras, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 boasts a 50 megapixel main camera and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens, both with optical image stabilization, OIS. The 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and the 10 megapixel selfie camera, unfortunately, don't have OIS. After removing everything, Zach took a closer look at the hinge. There was definitely some dust trapped in there, which is a common issue with foldable phones. Zach mentioned that the Galaxy Z Fold 5's hinge might have been better at resisting dust, but there's no scientific data to back that up. Overall, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has shown that it can handle a lot of abuse. The quest for the perfect foldable phone continues, but the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is definitely a strong contender. So what do you think about the Galaxy Z Fold 6's durability? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Take care.